Hello everybody out there, it's the future once again, and this time it's not just a DVD update or a figure review, but it is a VHS update and slash DVD update. Um, so, let's get started here. Yeah, I picked up a ton of VHS from 29 cents to a dollar um, is the most I paid for any of the VHSs that you see. Um, I had to add in a, a DVD too because um, you'll see here coming up why I had to add in VHS slash DVD. It's not going to be all my DVDs today. I may show a small stack of DVDs off that I've got over here, but um, I'm trying to save that for a two-part DVD update. But I'm going to go ahead and show off the ones that go with um, the video VHSs that I picked up. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, definitely want to send a shout out to Sinistalker, who is a very, very avid, hardcore, um, VHS horror collection fan. So if you like the horror genre, um, go over there and check him out. Also shout out to C-Dub, who, uh, really is into VHS as well. And I told him I've been going to do this for a long time. And one of the reasons I'm shouting him out is because I never did. I've had this for a long time and never did show it in my uh, initial VHS collection uh, DVD collection video that is in my videos. If you go back and check it out, uh, one dollar charge is if the tape is not rewound. Uh, yeah, we used to get charged for not rewinding the tapes, but this is SummerSlam '92, the Coliseum video, the actual one in the rental case. Um, I can't remember what store, Stars and Stripes is what it says on it. I can't, yeah, Stars and Stripes video, probably just a mom and pop store. Um, but yeah, it's the actual Col Coliseum video. Um, plays perfectly fine. You know, got all your stickers on there and stuff. Looks like they have a uh, Stars and Stripes video sticker on it too. I never did take any of them off. Kind of like leaving that stuff off, stuff on. And no rating. But yeah, I did, you know, put on the side, you know, WWF SummerSlam, that's Hart versus Davy Boy Smith, IC title, classic. Um, I like these Coliseum uh, WWF ones, and C-Dub said it could be worth quite a bit. Um, and I know that uh, Sinistalker has a few wrestling VHSs as well, so go over there and check them out as their links are underneath the, in the description, so that's cool. Um, some of the VHSs I picked up, or all of them, uh, my dad was in Vietnam, so um, I decided to pick up this Battlefield Vietnam, the Undeclared War uh, VHS, just kind of like a short documentary, um, its running time is um, approximately, let me see if they have a running, 58 minutes, um, black and white and in color, so yeah, a little 58 minute um, documentary. Uh, for the first time, discover the complete story of the U.S. war in Vietnam. I just like to watch any kind of old school footage and stories of Vietnam. And for 29 cents, I couldn't go wrong. Um, have to save that one for later. Uh, picked up this uh, classic comedy slash sports movie, um, Bull Durham. I'm kind of a Kevin Costner fan. It's also Susan Sarandon, Tim Rollins. Anybody hasn't seen Bull Durham, check it out, man. Um, this one is from 1988. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, put out in 1988. So this is the actual um, contemporary classic 1988 romantic comedy. I don't know if this is from 1988, but it seems like it is. It probably isn't, though. But I don't know. Um, if I can get the actual years on it there, but you see two big thumbs up, one of the funniest comedies of the year, Kevin Costner does great, Durham Bulls, a real team, so pick that up, um, this one's considered a classic movie, not only a classic sports movie, but a classic movie, Gene Hackman, The Hoosiers, um, this is a 1986 copy here, um, 1988, uh, distribution, um, so, couple years after it was made this is when this VHS was made and don't you love the art on the front covers of VHS man I mean they really took time to put art into some of these just the sneakers laying there Hoosiers you've seen this on the thing and you love basketball as a kid you saw this you're like I have to check it out great great movie man great movie Gene Hackman Dennis Hopper both star in this definitely recommended sports movie 
Um, I have Phenomenon here. My girlfriend really likes this movie, and so do I. So, um, and this is, you know, looks like the original release here. May not be, but I'm not sure. Um, see, I never did look up if these were any of the original release tapes or not. But it looks pretty good. Touchstone uh, home video, so I'm pretty sure it is. It has even the sticker for the soundtrack there. Uh, Eric Clapton's Change the World. Must see movie of the year. Uh, two thumbs up there by uh, Siskel and Ebert. Anytime you see that, that's good. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this movie, you know. He gets this uh, flash of light he sees, and he becomes really, really smart, really intelligent, able to move things with his mind and stuff, and... I won't, like, spoil the movie or anything for you, but if you haven't seen it, check it out. I enjoy any John Travolta, too. Um, Some Like It Hot, classic movie, Marilyn Monroe, T Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon. Look at him disguised as women that back there behind Marilyn. Anything with Marilyn Monroe in it, um, I'll pick up because I am a fan of her. Um, very cool, man. Contains the original theatrical trailer. I'm um, trying to see the year this was... Uh, it was made in 1959, distributed in 1997, so, vintage classics tape there, um, MGM Home Video, United Artists, so, very cool to have that one in the collection, I'm gonna have to check that one out too. Uh, Talented Mr. Ripley, Matt Damon, Gwyneth Paltrow, Jude Law, uh, I thought this was a real interesting movie, Paramount Pictures Special Edition, um, as you see on the back there in it includes uh, interviews by the cast and crew. Um, yeah, this movie distributed in 2000. Um, it says down below, 1999 Paramount Pictures. So, um, Very cool, talented Mr. Ripley. If you haven't checked it out, check that one out. Um, here's uh, Bugsy, uh, you know, a gangster movie, Warren Beatty, uh, Annette Bening. Um, there you see Best Picture of the Year. Um, I'm just telling you what, man, uh, I want to thank Edwin W. Pillow, too, from, uh, East Alton, Illinois, there, uh, nominated for 10 Academy Awards, you haven't seen Bugsy, and you're a fan of, like, gangster movies, um, definitely have to check this one out, you know, after Benjamin Bugsy Siegel, the famous gangster, um, very good movie right here to check out, glad to grab that one for the collection. Ghosts in the Darkness, I was glad to pick this one up, kind of shitty on the side there, um, but yeah, I was glad to pick this one up, it looks like it came out in 1997 when this was released, um, Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas, who I both enjoy both of their works, uh, only the most incredible parts of the story are true, um, this was actually a true story about lions attacking this village, and these guys have to hunt them off, and pray for the hunters it says there, I like that cover art too pretty cool. Um, here's a spaghetti western directed by Sergio Leone, uh, starring Henry Fonda and Terrence Hill. My name is Nobody. Nobody but nobody knows the trouble he's in. Um, Trinity Star is out to build a legend. I thought that cover was kind of cool. Uh, this is in very good shape too. I think when I got this it had the seal still on it, um, but I took it off to watch it. Um, always like those old spaghetti westerns, running time, you know, 115 minutes, 1974 is when the film was made, um, MCA, 1973, man, I don't know, so, this looks kind of old, KMC home video, KVC home video, um, I don't know, I like it though, Sergio Leone, uh, Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, Once Upon a Time in the West, Once Upon a Time in America, here's one of the best westerns, uh, I can just recommend to anybody. Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, in there it says one of the year's ten best. It's Tombstone, just coming. I did not have this in the VHS format, and I did not have it in the DVD format either, but if you check out my DVD review, you might see that that has changed. Um, yeah, running time 130 minutes there. Um, looks like this one uh, is the from the date that it was released. Um, Tombstone, man, one of the best, uh, current westerns that have been made, and, uh, one of the best ever about Wyatt Earp, uh, Val Kilmer, uh, Wyatt, not Val Kilmer, but Wyatt Earp, Doc Holliday, 
you know, the shootout at the OK Corral, and it actually shows what happens after the shootout at the OK Corral, but all these very cool, and as you can see, the actual tape in real good shape. Like I said, a dollar to 29 cents, can't go wrong with any of them. I got this another Western, The Wild Bunch, uh, the first movie to show people actually getting shot and a lot of blood and kind of the forerunner for movies that you see today. Um, as you can see down there, Ernest Bornine, William Holden. I mean, the cast just incredible in this movie. Um, Sam Peckinpah, one of his greatest move, uh, achievements as it changed the way westerns were made, as I said. And uh, it looks like uh, this one was released in 95. Um, the actual release date for this movie, though, I cannot see, but it was way, way before that. Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't see an actual release date for when this movie, movie was made on there, but, um, very good movie, The Wild Bunch. I want to get this DVD, too, you can see some of them right there, and this might be a little harsh for some people to take, too, so, I recommend it to people who, uh, like a lot of blood and a lot of shooting because when it, things get going in this movie it gets real. Sam Peckinpah, also the director of one of the DVDs I got up here as well. Um, Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid right there. Um, but I like to pick up uh, any VHS westerns that I don't have. Um, C-Dub, McClintock uh, finally picked it up on a VHS format. Um, you can see Maureen O'Hara, Stephanie Powers, Jerry Van Dyke. Uh, this one's really good. Um, really funny western comedy. Glad to have this one picked up. John Wayne. Can't go wrong with anything by John Wayne. And it just adds to the John Wayne collection too. Uh, here's As Good As It Gets. Jack Nicholson film. One of his later ones. 1997 Academy Award nomination. Best Picture. Um, and this was released in 98, so I'm pretty sure it was like an original release there. Really good movie. You know, he's real in love with that dog. Uh, he's like OCD. You have to check it out. Grab the, happy to grab that one. Here's an older Jack Nicholson classic, Chinatown. Um, you really can't really describe much of what it's about, but all I gotta say is this movie is just absolutely classic. Looks like a 1989 distribution date down there. Um, this movie was made in 1974 there by Long Road Pictures. Uh, this is a Paramount release. Love the cover art right there. And I have been setting these up on my shelf there like Chinatown. It'll just stay right there. Um, here's another Jack Nicholson early one. Really good movie, The Last Detail. Um, really, really funny, man. No blank. Navy's going to give me some poor blank kid eight years in the <laughs> blank brig without me talking him out for the time of his life, taking him out for the time of his bleeping life, so. I don't know, I'll tell you what kind of movie it is, man. This is a great movie. Um, good comedy. Uh, has, uh, not only Jack Nicholson, but you have Randy Quaid in here as well. Uh, young Randy Quaid. Uh, young Nicholson, as I said. Um, 1991 release date, it was a 1973 film. But very good. I love the cover art on that one. I like to keep that one up there as well. I like my Jack Nicholson movies. Uh, he's great. Uh, picked up the classic Galaxy Quest. Kind of a take on a Star Trek uh, TV show. But they're sent to an actual planet to try to save the planet. You can see some of the aliens down there too. Pretty cool. Um, animations on here. Um, looks like they used a lot of live action models and stuff. 2000. Is when this was released, 1999 DreamWorks. Uh, this is like a cult classic too, Galaxy Quest. I've seen the DVD and passed it up, and now that I've seen the movie, I really wish I would have grabbed the DVD of it. Stack's getting pretty high there. Um, C-Dub, here's the Big Trouble in Little China that I picked up. Um, a little bit of scratched up on there, but man, that cover's so cool. That has to go up on the shelf though, man. Um, love this movie. Um, you can see some of the stuff on the back there. This movie actually was made in 19, sorry about the camera, 1986 is what that says, I'm pretty sure. 1995 release date on the video. Um, huh. They have some little facts and stuff on the back, exhilarating, uh, plenty savvy, a master's thesis, that moves, uh, time. 
I know C-Dub really enjoys Big Trouble on Little China. And there it is. And that freaking cover art, man, is badass. Badass. You got Kurt Russell in there, too. Can't wait for Hateful Eight coming up with uh, Quentin Tarantino for that one. The next movie I have, uh, I showed as good as it gets. Um, you got the classic Batteries in Not Included. Uh, Steven Spielberg presents a Matthew Robbins film, as you can see right there. I was happy to grab this one. This is like a cult classic, too. Um, cheerful, funny family entertainment. I watched this the day I, ha I that I picked it up from the thrift store, and all these were just picked up from random thrift stores. Um, 1987 on the release date for the vid. Um, or 90, 90 for the vid, and 1987 for the movie. Um, but very cool effects. They gotta like stay plugged in um, for energy and stuff. It's it's pretty cool, man. Batteries not included. I'm gonna check this out again too because it was a really fun watch. Um, if you can pick that up on DVD too, I recommend it. I don't have it. Here's a Godzilla vs. Monster Zero. I was happy to get this, man. This is a 1989 uh, release date. Um, I don't know exactly. Yeah, 19, 1966 Benedict. Pictures Corporation, it's a Toho um, produced film, I'm pretty sure, uh, let's see here, Tomoyoki Tanaka is the producer, but yeah, I mean, I don't know, but this is like one of the original uh, Godzilla flicks versus Monster Zero, this is the one where there's guys in space, and they actually speak a little bit of a... Uh, English in the beginning of this. I could not pass up on that. Look at the cover art. That's got to go on the shelf as well. Um, so you got Godzilla there, Chinatown there. Pretty neat, man. Have my little display picked up right there going. Um, here's a very good Martin Scorsese classic, Casino. As you can see, two tapes there. Perfect condition. All these play great, too. Because um, I have the working VSR, VCRs, I'll show you there. And it says one of the year's best films as you can see and this is just a classic of gangsters taking over a casino and what happened it's a true story too um, what really happens in this movie really happened in real life for the most part um, Danny De or, uh, Robert De Niro Joe Pesci Sharon Stone very good movie and I recommend anybody out there picking that one up for sure um, here's a big clamshell of It's a Wonderful Life um, the Republic Pictures Family Collection there. Um, this was very cool. I liked the cover art of that, and I liked that it was a big old clamshell, as you can see. And it's even got some stuff on the inside there written. But it's a wonderful life, a Christmas classic, and I probably won't watch this one until around Christmas time, which is coming up here quicker than we can uh, think about. But James Stewart, Donner, Donna Reed, yeah, Christmas coming quick, so I'll be watching that with my daughter. Um, it's a Wonderful Life. And here's why I have some DVDs in this video is because I've been trying for a long time to find all the Sean Connery uh, movies. And I finally have spent a little bit of cash and picked up at the thrift store, luckily, a lot of the movies um, to the Sean Connery um, 007 James Bond movies. Um, I have from Russia with Love here. This is the James Bond 007 collection. Very cool. Um, these were made in, let's see, 1995. This movie was launched in 1963, and these are all in order. We're from Russia with Love. Love the cover art on that. Sean Connery, the best James Bond in my opinion. Um, then you had Goldfinger there. Goldfinger, classic right there. A lot of people think this is one of the best. Um, 1964. Is when it was released um, originally in 1995 on this um, James Bond 007 collection VHS. There's another one. Then I have Thunderball, and I, I think I, I think these were all 29 cents a piece as well. James Bond collection. Um, I'm only missing a couple now. It's 1965 from the VHS anyway. I'm missing a couple. Diamonds are forever right there. And I just love the art on here. Sean Connery, badass. His 007 movies were weren't as campy and stuff. That was 1971. Um, yeah, and same release date, 95. I think they released these all in one year. 
Um, and then this was a different one. This is one of those big Warner Home Video clamshells of uh, Never Say Never Again. It's actually an out, a rare out-of-print title that I found. Um, i seen one going for like 30 and one's going for like 10 so you never really know it's the condition and stuff but the condition is pretty good for the warner clamshell here so you got your logo on the inside it's in this nice never say never again you know right in there and then on the inside yeah mid-america plastic um but very cool man was happy to get this um never say never again this was actually sean connery coming back um, later on after he was done doing the 007 yeah 1983 and this was 1984 home video so it's like pretty much the original release you can see adult collection Warner home videos I really like these big Warner home video clamshells like that um, the real 007 is back actually this was not at the time considered James Bond canon because they released an original James Bond movie to the original going along with the plot that they had going um, at the time so this was not at the time but now is considered and same with uh, Casino Royale um, but this is a classic man if you can watch this one pick this up or find this VHS definitely especially Sinistalker. Stalker this is out of uh, print rare from what I've seen um, so I was glad to get that and then a few more uh, DVDs here that have to do with James Bond and that'll wrap up the vid um, hope it wasn't too long you have Dr. No here which was the first of the Sean Connery James Bonds and I picked this one up on DVD very cool got some, it has audio commentary featuring director, director Terrence Young and members of the cast and crew so you have to love that Dr. No that's before from Russia with Love um, then I picked up you know I have the VHS right there and I picked up the DVD of Thunderball 2 because I want to get them all on DVD eventually and yes featuring Terrence Young and others audio commentary featuring Peter Hunt John Hopkins and others so there's two um, commentaries on here uh, I always love those commentaries so that's updated in the DVD collection Thunderball 007 so two of the uh, Sean Connery Bond films there that I picked up on DVD and then the best of the ones without Connery um, it was none other than Roger Moore stepping in to the role, um, right after, um, uh, You Never Die, Never Die Twice, I think it is, You Only, yeah, You Only Die Twice, You Only Live Twice, or something like that, I can't actually remember the name right off my head, but check it out, it's the only Connery one I don't have, um, yeah, but, uh, he stepped in and did a pretty damn good job in this one. This was the one with the all-black uh, villains in it, too, which was kind of groundbreaking at the time. Um, has the Rasta, the Voodoo Mon looking Papa Shango. If you're a wrestling fan, that's who Papa Shango modeled his character after, was that guy right there in the movie, the Voodoo Master. On the inside, you even see I had the pamphlet in here, too. Picked this up for like 75 cents. Um, so I was really happy to get a hold of this one too because it's the one that comes directly after the Conneries and probably the best that was made after the Connery one. So another 007 there. Oh, and here's another one. And this was actually kind of like a spoof and you see a spoof to, um, and all spy spoofs uh, starring Woody Allen, Peter Sellers, and more. Um, just hilarious movie. Peter Sellers, Ursula Andres. Uh, David Nevin, uh, a lot more, has a lot of special features down here. The original um, Casino Royale made-for-TV movie is actually on here, which I really want to check out now because I didn't know that was even on here. But I was really happy to get Casino Royale. It's like the comedic version of James Bond. It's now considered canon, but uh, it was not considered the James Bond franchise canon when it came out because it was just, you know, a spoof on it. But very very good anything uh with woody allen in it from back in the day and uh this thing was made in 1967 this movie was and uh the dvd actually came out in 2002 released by mgm there um but very happy to add this to the collection casino royale and just for the heck of it you know they did release the casino royale 
um, starring Daniel Craig as James Bond in the reboot of um, James Bond franchise. And this one actually took the book that was written serious. Um, and it was not a quirky, funny film like the original Casino Royale. But that's part of my James Bond collection now as well, is this Casino Royale with Daniel Craig. Um, I already had this one, and I showed it in, when I did my collection review, but I wanted to put it, include it into my collection here with this. And uh, Quantum of Solace uh, 7, um, you have uh, him stepping back in the role of 007. There's one more that I haven't gotten, um, but I'm going to. Um, yeah, very cool. Uh, Daniel Craig returns as James Bond so he's currently doing the role and I really like the way they're rebooting the series and the way they're doing these movies it's a pretty badass role for Daniel Craig um, Robert R. Broccoli's Eon Productions presents Ian Fleming's James Bond 007 and Quantum of Solace um, so Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale the newer generation of Bond films but it's kind of cool that there's you know the new, and there is also a 19, uh, what was it, 67 film called Casino Royale 2 that was a spoof. So, there you have it, DVD VHS review. Um, if everybody liked what they saw, make sure you hit the subscribe down below. Uh, give me a like, um, comment down below in the comment section. Um, I'm going to leave links to Sinistalker and... Um, C-Dub in the description to go to check out C-Dub at Crow Accord Media and Sinistalker at his channel. Both really cool cats and have really great stuff. And I don't get a lot of horror, so if you're looking for horror, go over and check out Sinistalker, man. He loves stalking around for that horror stuff. He has a new vid up right now. I hope everybody liked this VHS DVD update. I didn't try to get too technical to ruin any movies. Um, I do uh, stumble around here and there because I don't write no scripts or anything when I do these videos. It's just straight out. And sometimes I forget what I even picked up till I start going through. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for watching. And yeah, subscribe, like, comment. And I'll see you on the next vid, which will be part one of two of my um, DVD update. I may just go ahead and just do it all in one vid. It depends on how um, many I have left after I showed some of the DVDs off today. It's still quite a bit. Um, I think when it gets up to like almost 40 or 50 DVDs, that's almost too much to do in a review, but I might just go ahead and do it all at once. Maybe you can comment down below what you want, two parts or one. I don't know, but uh, everybody have a good one. Oh yeah, and I wanted to check out too, real quick before I go, this is uh, all my other VHSs that I have down here. These are like the, you know, the ones that were sold down here. Then I have a lot of taped ones from when I was a kid of my dad's. I have a lot of my clamshells lined up here and I'll be lining up a lot of uh, my new ones over there. So I've got all those. And I've got these here down here. You know, all my Arnold's and stuff over there. Gene Wall the Way, Running Man, Predator, etc. Um, a little shot at that. If you didn't see my collection vid, um, I have a lot of VHS's up here. The wrestling. And then over here, you know, I have the VHS's of uh, the baseball, Ken Burns, um, and then I have Godfather Part 3 and 2 on VHS, and there's Godfather 1 by it, which I may do with Mad Max down here too for the hell of it, but I'm not sure what I'll do there, um, because I have the first two Mad Max here, I might squeeze Road Warrior in between, um, I've already showed it anyway, so, um, but yeah guys, if you like what you've seen here, like I said, comment, subscribe, rate, um, also, you know, pretty cool pickups lately that I'll get more into on my little figure stand there. Um, as you can see, my DVDs are just getting packed, man. I got a lot to show off. So, I'm not going to waste any more time. Almost 30 minutes here, guys. So, it's the future once again. And, as always, peace out.